I've witnessed so many lives that we've touched, you know, in the care at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital to patients and families. And I know that that care has meant something to patients and families uh, very importantly in that they trust us with their kids. I mean, certainly we provide that high level of quality care, um, expert care from all team members. But it's really about that personal touch. It's really about that patient and family-centered culture that we have created over time. And it was a journey. But I can tell you that when I talk to the patients and families, I know that they trust us. They trust us because we're able to convey that sensitivity, that concern to them. Um, and it's not just about the aesthetics. We have an amazing new children's hospital. And it's a very comfortable environment. But it's really about the people. The people in their compassionate ways, um, it's giving them that empowerment to, to go over and above for that patient and family, whatever they need. I can tell you that every opportunity that we have to decrease the burden or the suffering of a family, you know, I think that we've done a great job of being very creative with that. Whether it's nutmeg, you know, pet therapy, whether it's really significantly having our child life specialist at the bedside to help those children, you know, whatever age they are and whatever they're going through and coping with their hospitalization, child life has been a huge impact um, in the lives of these patients going through, uh, you know, their difficult times. So all of this philosophy of patient and family-centered care and the power of play, this has all been a part of Frank's vision and will continue to be a part of his legacy over many, many years. Um, I know that it's made a significant impact not only on our patients and families' lives, but on our employees. Um, you know, we spend more time sometimes at work than we do with our families at home. And I know that um, it's through Frank's vision that we've been able to accomplish uh, this very, very special kind of care that we provide at Joe DiMaggio. I want to thank you, Mr. Sacco, for allowing me to be able to do my job, not only to be able to deliver the highest uh, level of quality care, but also to be able to deliver it in an environment of compassion. Uh, I also want to thank you for being the architect behind this amazing culture that you've created uh, where people value one another and certainly value uh, always putting the patient first.